Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I used to host Call for Help on Tech TV, I would help people with problems that they were running into on their desktops. Used to help people who were using Windows. Of course, now I could help people if they were using Windows, Linux, Mac OS X. And it's easier to do these days with software like GoToAssist Express, which is what I'm using right now to connect to a community member's desktop. I asked people who were hanging out here at live.perillo.com if they were running into a problem on their desktop that I might be able to help them with. Now, GoToAssist.com slash Chris is where you can go to start using GoToAssist Express to connect to people's desktops and help them remotely manage clients very easily. And I know you're saying, well, Chris, I could use this program or this program. The reason I like GoToAssist Express, not just because they support the community, you know, kind of help keep things running around here. Yes, they are a partner of mine, but GoToAssist Express has this utility built into it that allows me to run a diagnostic report of the computer that's running on the other side of the world. Could be anywhere, really. It could be running Mac OS X or Windows, and I can still get a diagnostic report. What do you mean? Well, I can find out right away what Zach's default browser is simply by going to the default browser tab here. See this? Let me zoom in here and show you the diagnostic report. Uh, system summary gives me the OS name, Windows directory, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Applications that are running, the processes that are running in the background, the programs that run on startup, the logical drives, the network connections. He doesn't really have any network connections, which kind of has me freaked out of it. I don't know how I'm connected to him. The devices, look at these are all the devices he has. Uh, the default browser again, the services installed, installed applications, and the version of Microsoft Office that he is running. So I don't have to ask Zach any of these questions. I've got the answers to him right away. Well, Zach happens to be having a problem related to the Windows Defender. Application failed to initialize 0x800106BA. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I ran into that problem, I'd probably have about 10 cents. Seriously, it's, it's an easy problem to fix because I, I looked up the solution for the problem, which Zach could have done, but he, he's playing along here, so just bear with us. We want to demonstrate just how easy it is for me to control Zach's computer remotely. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, press OK, because see, I'm controlling his screen remotely. I'm going to go ahead and uninstall Windows Defender. That is going to solve the problem. Yes, of course, the error is going to go away, but the solution is actually to uninstall it and then reinstall it. And, you know, actually, instead of me uninstalling and reinstalling it, Zach, since you're watching me right now on live.perillo.com, it could have very well have been over the phone, you know, like, yes, okay, I'm going to control the computer now, blah, 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 blah. He's, he's listening remotely. Okay, Zach, go ahead and browse to the part where it says Windows Defender in, in the list here in the Programs and Features section in your control panel. He may be experiencing some lag, by the way, since you know I'm recording and streaming this live to you so you can watch me demonstrate Go to Assist Express. He's taking a while. He's really taking a while. He may he may be on dial up. I don't know. Oh but he's running Windows Vista. Maybe 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 it's a little slower. So I I'm actually going to do it for him. <clears throat> Windows, Windows Remote, Windows blah, 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 blah. Let's go up here. Let's see if we can find it. Zach, go ahead and find it for me. Oh, is it under here? Hey, he's got it. Zach's got it. Zach's got it. Okay, don't want to don't get in your way. I will have solved the problem by uninstalling Windows Defender and then reinstalling it. He wouldn't have to interact with it if he didn't want to, really. Uh, but now he can. He can go and find it, and he can do it himself. Because sometimes, you know, if you give the man a fish, he'll eat for a day. You, you teach the man to fish, and he will eat for longer than a day. Sometimes, though, the man may forget how to fish. And then you have to connect with him again and 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 again I'd like to do this on a regular basis if you're having a problem on your desktop drop me a line we'll see if we can use go to assist express to fix the problem we can try we can we we can do this together cuz see I can help and 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 then you you can be the person who needs help makes sense to me I just love the uh, the diagnostics that I get to see. And the process is running in the background. It's just kind of cool. I, I think it's kind of cool. I can even export the processes if I wanted to. So much easier to view that information locally than remotely. And it's all in one spot. Go to assist.com slash Chris. Go to assist.com slash C-H-R-I-S is where you can get more information. Run your own diagnostic reports for your friends, family, whoever you happen to support 
remotely. My email address, chris at perillo.com. I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis, hopefully helping people with the problems they're having on either Windows or Mac OS X. You're welcome to join us in our community of tech enthusiasts, geeks.perillo.com. And then, of course, we also have the chat room, which is typically talking tech, some people asking questions, some people giving answers to those questions. Usually those answers are correct or along those lines. But we are streaming this video 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right here at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.